Greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. The uh, best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you don't have uh, the Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. With my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, it's about $60. I'll help you with any question. Just easier if it's Kaplan, because for that commercial, you can give me the QID like this, 1265599, and I can bring it up backstage and explicate it from there. So just easier to help you out if you have a Kaplan Quebec. All right, let's get this uh, done. A margin account. So the first thing, the most important thing on a margin question is know the classical margin equation long and the classical margin equation short. The classical margin equation long is long market value minus debit equals equity. I'll in a pen comment and video description put my margin lecture I think the best analogy is a house. The market value of the house minus mortgage on the house equals equity on the house. Uh, it has 500 shares at 40 and 300 shares at 90. So what we got to do is figure out the uh, market value here, right? So 500 shares at 40 is $20,000 in long market value. 300 shares at uh, 90 is $27,000 in long market value. And so now we're going to do what's called our initial setup. So those two numbers, we have 47,000 in long market value. The debit balance, that's what you owe your brokerage firm. So this customer owes the brokerage firm 21.5. That's the debit balance. Let's put that in there. And so for our initial setup, we have 25,500 in equity. It says the SMA balance is 2,000. Another test taker wanted some help on the SMA. You know, for test purposes, the excess equity in SMA, if you think of them as being the same, you'd be fine. They're not really the SMA is the holding tank for your excess equity. If I didn't make a special memorandum to your account that you had excess equity, you might feel like you have to use it, you know, any moment or you're going to lose it. So now I'm going to do a mark to market and give you credit for that. So right now I'll just uh, see if this 2000 is from the current situation or did it come from a previous uh, mark? Let's see by comparing the long market value, uh, uh, 47 to reg T, 50%. So 50% of 47,000 is 23.5. So there's two ways to think of this. I can extend you a loan of 23.5 on $47,000 in collateral. That's a loan value, and you've only borrowed 21.5. Another way to think about it is you only have to be at risk for 23.5, and you're at risk for 25.5. You have excess equity. It's 2,000, and as I said, that would uh, be the SMA here for test purposes. So I'm just confirming that that is indeed 2,000 bucks there. All right, now what we're going to do is a mark to market. So it says XYZ increases to 50. So that's going to be 500 shares at 50. Now is 25,000 in long market value. It tells me that ABC has remained unchanged. So that's still 300 shares at 90. That's 27. And so now I can um, do my mark. I have 25,000 plus 27,000 gives me my long market value of 52. The 52 is the 25,000 of 500 shares of XYZ and 300 shares of ABC. That towed together is the 52,000. You still owe the brokerage firm. The customer still owes the brokerage firm 21.5. And so now we do our mark and we have the answer. The answer to this question is the equity is 30,500. So boom, there's our answer. Now, while we have this here, why not continue to do our mark? Because they could have asked me, uh, for example, what is the excess equity or the new SMA entry? Again, I compare it to Reg T, 26, and you have 35,000. You have excess equity of 4,500. Now, as I mentioned on the test, I don't think that would be a problem. But you say, Dean, what can I do with that excess equity? I say you can have it as cash or you can use it to buy additional securities. Uh, my favorite would be buy additional securities. And you say, well, Dean, I don't know if I want to do anything today. I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll make a special memorandum to your account that on today you had $4,500 more than you needed. So that's what that SMA is. It's a holding tank for the excess equity. Uh, by the way, the old SMA entry goes bye-bye. So this is no longer appropriate moving forward. Now you don't get a new SMA, you know, bouncing back and forth. You got to get past your high water mark. All right, let's do a quick review here on this margin question. I think it's overkill. You're going to have three or four margin questions Nothing this complex. They're very basic on the Series 7. So this is an area where I think a lot of test takers spend way too much time or invest too much time. 
We said the most important thing in margin is to know the classical margin equation long and the classical margin equation short. The classical margin equation long is long market value minus debit equals equity. We said, you know, if we can do the initial setup in a mark to market, we'll have the answer to whatever they want to know. I call these time clock questions. They do this in options as well, where they take several days later or the stock went here or, you know, whatever the case may be. So the first thing we got to do is figure out what the long market value is, and it's 47,000. You fit 500 shares at 40 and 300 shares at 90, 47. The question tells me the client owes the brokerage firm 21.5. So that's our initial setup. We uh, just want to see perhaps what that looks like. And there's our 2000 that they told us in excess equity SMA. And now they say the stock goes to 50. I do the mark. That's 25 grand. They say ABC remains unchanged. That's still 27 grand. So now I can do my mark to market. 52,000, that's the 25 and the 27. You still owe the brokerage from 21.5, long market value minus equity, uh, minus debit equals equity. That's the classical margin equation, ding, ding, ding. That is the answer to the question because they said, what is the equity account? And that's 30,500. If we wanted, we could con continue and say, okay, that's 4,500 in excess equity. And again, on the test, it would make no difference if you thought is that one of the same. It's not really, but who cares? I'm going to make a special memorandum to your account. What well, moves forward every day is a new day. So as a margin clerk, what I do is I get rid of this. This is no longer, you know, that's yesterday's news. What I keep is the SMA. And then, you know, I do the new mark and that might make a new entry. In this case, we said the new SMA, that I'm going to make a special memorandum to your account, a holding tank, and guess the stock goes back down. You had 4,500. I uh, hope that was helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your exam is a cinch, yard by yard. Your Series 7 is hard, and I'll see you for the next explication request.